I first knew Raheem when he was eight years old. Um, his sister kept saying to me how good he was as a player. So I said to her one day, can you bring him in and I'll let him play against some of our year sevens and year eights. Um, so these were first years back in the old days, um, first year of secondary school. So Raheem came in and absolutely run rings around him, scored loads <laughs> of goals, made loads of chances. And um, these guys were like three and four years older than him that he was playing against. What's... His, obviously, we've all watched him, Paul. What's his ability? Does he have this sort of soccer brain? He seems to have a tremendous low point of gravity as well. He's quite difficult to push over, this lad. Yeah, I mean, from a young age, he was always able to, like, ride the tackles and, like, um, put up with all the bumps and barges by people that are a lot bigger and stronger than him and a lot quicker than him. So um, it's something he learned from a young age, how to... Um, protect himself and how to like pass the ball quickly or how to beat players and manage to stay on his feet as well. And I would imagine, unless you're going to tell me that you've had other great lads through, he's probably one of the most gifted players you've ever seen at his age. Is that fair, Paul? He's definitely the most gifted player I've seen at his age. Um, right from the first time I saw him, I knew that he was going to be a professional footballer. <laughs> and I knew that he would go on to play for England and obviously do really well playing for England as well as Manchester City. And was he always committed towards it? Did he always want to be a football player? There was nothing else on his mind. That's the only thing he wanted to do. And to the extent that he wouldn't even speak to nobody about it. He was so humble, so down to earth. Um, he just got on with it every day. He was one of the first people at training every single session. One last leave, he would always help with the equipment. He always wanted to learn and improve. So even the things he was really good at, whether he really good at dribbling, for argument's sake, or running with the ball, he still wanted to improve that. He wanted to improve his passing, improve his crossing, improve his shooting. And this was, you were at Copeland, or you're at Copeland School, just to make sure we get that right. Is that correct? Uh, um, I was at Copeland Community School for many a year, and then they knocked the school down, uh, and Ark Elvin Academy is ah. in its place. So and how did the team do? Did, did you take the team to any cups or leagues or did you win your division what what is it Paul yeah um when Raheem was here in year seven we had two cup finals in the same week one for year seven and one for year eight and the year seven one Raheem was outstanding man the match um he scored a few goals made loads of chances we was unfortunate that we didn't actually win that game ah. but then later on the same week he played for the year eight and he scored a hat-trick and um he made the other goal and he was man of the match for that. So um, that's some of the pictures I sent into you. So oh, no. He came a year up and won the final at the Brent Cup final for his year above himself. 